Hello, welcome in everybody. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Tarot and this is going to be the weekend check-in for the collective. So keep in mind, this is a general collective message for August 31st through September 1st. We're going to talk about the astrology and then we're going to jump in with the cards. So you're not going to want to miss this message. We got some big energies playing out this weekend. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video, comment on the video and share the video, especially if you're resonating with the message. And so let's talk about these astrology insights. And so this weekend we have Uranus in Taurus stationing retrograde at 27 degrees we have Pluto leaving Aquarius and dipping back into Capricorn this weekend and we're going to have the moon entering into Virgo and we are prepping all of these energies for the new moon on Monday and so there's this need to calm the nervous system the nervous Uranus energy that's coming in and so retrogrades are all about a deep internal process and so this energy really is asking you to go within how can you go within how can you use use your abilities in harmony with your external environment and so how can you be a help to others Virgo is the sign of service and so these retrogrades are saying hey it's time to help out it's time to assist and so we have uh, Venus that just entered into Libra. And so this is all about helping to assist the calming energy. And so we all have the potential to transform all of our specialized gifts into a drive towards reaching a specific goal. And so you might have to face some legal difficulties. Uh, you might have to close out a very important soul contract when it comes to some karmic lessons. And so Pluto dipping back into Capricorn is saying, hey, it's the final cleanup when it comes to lessons, karmic lessons connected to the Saturnian Capricornian themes from the last 15 years. And so be positive, be decisive. I do feel the catalyst is always going to be you, right? It's always you. You are your own biggest catalyst. You get to decide how you will use your raw potential, how you will use your free will. And so right now we're in this major testing phase, especially with Saturn and Pisces retrograde. This is all about spiritual discipline and spiritual testing. And so it's this weighing energy and this analyzing energy in order to bring about a specific balance in your life. And so I do feel there's hidden forces here that are being activated for many on the awakening path that agreed to awaken and assist humanity at this time for the great awakening. And so allow the subconscious to surface, allow it to surface. I feel Uranus is saying, be aware, be aware of hidden enemies and be aware of all of these unforeseen conditions happening behind the scenes. And so you all, you always have the power to heal. You have the power to heal. You have the power to receive intuitive insights and you do have the power to mend the mind. And so if you develop your healing potential right now in these retrogrades, you can become an influential force when it comes to the relief of suffering in the world. We all kind of have to do our part. And so uh, right now we are in a massive portal, I feel, of evolutionary growth. Uranus is going to be retrograde for a few months. And this is where we go through this spiritual development. It's definitely underway. And so what we think and what we do all day will affect our reality. It will influence the collective consciousness. And so spiritual unfoldment doesn't happen all at once. Definitely doesn't happen all at once. Although my Kundalini was activated all at once. But spiritual unfoldment is always a progress. It's always a process. It takes time. Things take time. And so we have to embrace... Uh, these energies, we have to embrace the descent, the fall, in order to rise like the phoenix, phoenix into these higher planes of existence is what I journaled. And so it's always, always, always darkest before the dawn. And so if things, th if things feel dark, if there's a lot of chaos and conflict in your life, Uranus going retrograde might bring some type of tower, but this is going to lead to a brand new start. And so there's always going to be obstacles to face. There's always going to be challenges. It doesn't matter how grounded you are, how spiritual, how spiritual you are, or how far along the journey you are. There's always going to be obstacles. And so uh, right now I feel the obstacles are likely going to be overcome. And this final cleanup is kind of underway. And so keep positive faith. Keep, keep positive faith in your abilities. The key word 
right now is regeneration. And so when we renew our bodies and we renew our minds, then we can bring light to life. And so right now there's a lot of great divine power being activated within the collective. And yes, we have to adjust our lives through taking right actions, not only with our thoughts, but with right actions. And so all of our energy, if you think about all of the energy we source comes from the sun, it does come from the light of the sun. And so we have to kind of turn this energy that we absorb from the sun and we need to radiate the energy that we receive and hence let your light shine, let your light shine. And so right now I feel the retrograde energies are asking us to rest, to reflect, to retreat, and to conclude, to conclude a valuable lesson. And so this retrograde phase, <clears throat> throat chakra energy requires, I feel, great concentration. It's going to require concentration. It's going to require meditation. And we're going to have to really reflect on all of the experiences that we have gone through that have brought us to here this very moment, this lifetime. And so if you use these retrograde energies in this time period effectively, it can lead to change in your life for the better. So we all do have free will, but do, do understand the conclusions that you arrive at after these retrogrades will affect your future actions and honor. I heard honor. Honor is a big thing, right? Integrity and honor. And so you and only you alone are in control of your actions. So actions and wisdom. I was shown the king of wands. And so this is all about protection and soul contracts. I feel there are a lot of very protective forces at play around you that are always guiding you to safety, guiding you to the higher path, to the middle path. And so fulfillment of obligations is huge. As we go into these retrogrades where almost all of the outer planets are going to be retrograde except for Jupiter. And so be truthful. I think that's a really big message. Be truthful because when you're truthful, you will be rewarded with peace in your life and you will be rewarded with peace of mind. And so contentment is huge too. Good health is huge, but it does require honesty. It, it requires a deep look at whatever is holding you back. What are you doing? What are you holding on to to maintain a lie? Because when we maintain honesty and when we maintain a persevering attitude, this does bring a new cycle of accomplishment forward. And so use your character wisely. That was loud. So let's jump in with the tarot. Let's see what other messages need to come through for the collective today. We're going to jump in with the spiritual journey oracle deck to start so keep in mind guys this reading is not sign specific the reading is all about guidance it's all about empowerment i'm not here to tell you what to do the cards aren't here to tell you what to do so just take all readings as an opportunity for growth expansion and to step into your power and to create the life that you really want so look at that cut the deck igniting passions kind of got that ace of wands energy coming through and then we get a karmic lesson. And so when Uranus stations retrograde at 27 degrees, 27, key 27 in the tarot is the Ace of Wands. And so this is carrying with it almost like the world vibration. And so we do choose to incarnate in human form to go through a human experience as a soul, as a light being to resolve past life karma, to resolve ancestral karma, to resolve all of these negative past life experiences so we can transcend all of these painful lessons. And so work through the pain, work through the heartache, work through the painful lesson and turn it into an opportunity for growth. Okay, and so igniting your passion. Sometimes you got to lose it all to figure out what it is that you're really passionate about. And so find something that really speaks to your heart, that really speaks to your soul. What can you do to spark your creativity? We are all here on a co-creative journey in conjunction with these universal forces. And so this might be related to your work. There might be an opportunity to go down an entrepreneurial path to do exactly what it is that you love. So if you're not living a life of passion, maybe it's time to reevaluate those passions and to dip into some type of creative force this weekend. But let's get into it. Let's see what else needs to come through for the collective today. What other energies need to come through? Love on the bottom of the deck. 
And uh, a wise teacher once told me, what you are seeking is always seeking you. And so deep, unconditional, healthy love wants you. And so what you are seeking is also seeking you. So let's get into it. Let's get a few of these cards out. Spend time in nature. And so retreat. Retreat from the onslaught of the busyness of your life. Connect with the earth. Connect with wildlife. Connect with Mother Earth in its raw, beautiful form. We get fear. Maybe you're going to need to ground these very anxious, nervous energies that are coming through with Uranus station, re stationing retrograde. But we do all have to face our fears. Fear is just an illusion of the mind. When we play into fear, we don't allow ourselves to experience life to the fullest extent. So fear is an illusion. When we release fears, then we can release all expectations of the journey. Practice unconditional love. When you show yourself love, true unconditional love, that will promote new, healthier relationships on your path. And so if you find yourself overly critical of others, maybe overly critical of yourself, that's usually just a reflection of what you need to heal or maybe on the flip side, what they need to heal. There was a cat fight upstairs, so you might be going head to head with somebody. There might be a cat fight this weekend. Everything that happens during a reading is meant to happen during a reading. And on the bottom of the deck, we do get healing the soul's DNA. And so there's some deeply embedded pain here that needs to be released, that needs to come to the surface in order for you to heal your soul's DNA. So we carry this trauma in every single cell in our body until we go through the conscious release. And so in order to redefine our future without all of these negative energies plaguing our path, we do have to face that deepest, darkest hurt. And it is very painful, but it is also how we heal. And so spend some time alone. Spend some time alone. I feel like I'm talking to a high priestess. I could be talking to a Pisces or someone with, with prominent Pisces in their chart. doesn't have to be. But I do feel somebody here is being asked to just spend some time alone. Go within. Spend some time in quiet introspection because you are encouraged to develop your psychic abilities. And so maybe the next several months are going to be a time of solitude, a time of going within, a time of listening hearing, seeing, developing your intuition, developing your gifts, because we all have these psychic gifts. And so meditation is huge when it comes to developing your psychic gifts. Let's go a little bit further with the tarot and let's see what else needs to come through for a weekend message today. So we get an empress reversed on the cut and we get a six of cups. And so there might be a deep seated mother wound that needs to be transmuted uh, this could be a lot of nostalgia a lot of reminiscing of the past there's something very dark going on here i feel there could be a feminine here that doesn't know her worth doesn't know her value is needing to recognize that there's a block when it comes to a childhood pattern there could be somebody here that didn't have a mother that nurtured them that didn't feel safe in childhood and so there is a need to understand uh, something connected to a deep-seated family pattern uh, when it comes to some type of abandonment wound maybe you were abandoned by your mother maybe your mother is no longer here with you and there's a need to recognize your worth and your value is not dependent on how other people treat you so there is a lot of looking back on the past there is a need to recognize a pattern here and to overcome fear. The Empress Reversed is feeling very stuck. So uh, what do we got? We got the Seven of Coins in Reverse. So we can't keep watering these dead trees. It's time to kind of trim the dead branches. Saturn is saying, hey, Uranus is coming in to shake something up when it comes to stuckness, when it comes to stagnancy. I'm going to set that card aside and we're going to dig a little bit deeper. And so maybe you've been very loyal and very patient waiting for something to kind of yield a harvest. But there's like a lack of fertility. There's a lack of harvest here. So let's get nine cards out and let's see what's going on this weekend. We get the Ace of Cups in reverse. We get the Two of Cups in reverse. So there's a separation. There's a disconnection when it comes to a partnership here. We get the Two of Swords, and there's a need to unblock your heart. This is about 
a heart activation. This is a major purge, I feel, and this probably hurts. And so there is a need to face your deepest, darkest fears. And maybe it's in connection to some type of separation or relationship, but this really is about unblocking the heart. We get the Knight of Coins, Virgo energy. We get the Magician in reverse. More Virgo energy, Gemini energy. And we get the Five of Swords in reverse. So there is a need to see a situation clearly. There is a need to heal, I feel, from a past heartbreak. Because we kind of got a Three of Swords in reverse here. So don't kid yourself. Uh, you, can, you can move on. But if you don't process the negative emotions attached to endings, those endings will come back to haunt you. And so there's something about the past, I feel, coming back to haunt you. Yeah, something about the past, maybe... You're dealing with somebody that, that snuck away from you or maybe you thought you could sneak away and not have to deal with this heartbreak. But uh, this is an opening. I feel like an opening of a new cycle. There's that palace of coins. And then we get the five of wands. And so there's a conflict here. There's a challenge here. Maybe you're in a power struggling dynamic. We got a couple of fives. And so it's kind of time to face these challenges. It is about the heart. Something between the head and the heart. And so do not deceive yourself. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we get the eight of coins. And so below the eight of coins, we get the ace of swords. And then we get the two of wands. And so there's a big decision here that needs to be made. There is a need to close out a major karmic lesson, a karmic cycle. And there's that justice energy. And so something about Venus just entering into Libra, it is bringing in a calming sense here. And so there's definitely a need to um, look back at a recent loss. So the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Two of Swords, Twos are all about decisions. Twos are all about crossroads, choices, and the consequences of those choices. And so I do feel there's a need to heal from a past separation, a past heartbreak. And somebody here really thought that they could move on without shedding their old ways. And what goes around always does come back around. And so somebody's been in some type of denial about a situation, about an ending here. And uh, you're going to have to go back. You're going to have to look at this. You're going to have to deal with this. Um, if you want that abundance, if you want that new creative drive, that new creative start, we can create our own reality, yes, but we do have to overcome this um, this very stuck energy of being at war within yourself. And so somebody here, I feel, is in the battle within, and I do feel Saturn is saying, hey, you can't ignore the matters of the heart here. And so somebody here could be so laser focused on work, that's what they're using to avoid the truth. But honestly, somebody's stuck in some type of imprisonment. And so this is about honesty. This is about integrity. This is about getting real. And so I feel somebody's bubble is about to be burst because a major decision does need to be made here. And so somebody's at the divine why. And I do feel action is going to need to be taken, likely by that eclipse energy mid-September. So uh, what is it that you need to accomplish when it comes to completing a lesson? You could be dealing with one of the fixed signs. You could be one of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. But there is some type of karmic rebalancing going on here. And so things aren't turning out the way you want them to turn out. They're turning out exactly according to divine law, to divine will. And so there's a delay when it comes to a new beginning here. So let's clarify this magician reverse. This magician reverse, it could be a pathological liar or where have you continued to lie to yourself. The magician reverse to me is saying there's a trickster here that, that can no longer trick people because the truth is coming to light. And so we get the Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy. We get the Six of Coins and we get the Nine of Wands. And so this is about don't deceive yourself. There is some type of block when it comes to childhood that keeps manifesting as a sense of lack. I feel a lack of consciousness. There could have been a huge missed opportunity here. The way I placed the cards, I kind of placed it up here on that Seven of Pentacles in reversed. And so there is a need to balance a past situation out for sure. I think somebody thought they could go plant a seed somewhere else, build a foundation somewhere else without actually having to deal with with a past heartbreak. And let me tell you, you can't bring the baggage from the past into that next relationship cycle because it's going to haunt you if you haven't dealt with it. And so somebody here is in some type of fantasy or illusion 
and I think they've used that as a band-aid to cover up a wound. And so there's a need to go back and balance some scales here. Taurus, Libra energy. This is definitely connected to Venus and Libra. And so we got to balance it out. And maybe there's been blocked communication. Maybe there's been blocked communication for the last eight months. This could be completing an eight-year cycle. But you're going to have to find your drive and your determination to go forward. So it is going to take strength. It's going to take great strength. But I do feel somebody here keeps facing challenges and setback after setback. There's a delay when it comes to a new cycle because somebody's going to have to find their strength, I think, to go back and address the situation. Maybe it is connected to a past ending or some type of separation. So let's clarify the five of wands because this is saying get ready for a fight. Get ready for some type of catalytic event here to shake things up in order for you to get moving forward. And so there could be some very challenging communication. There could be somebody coming in with a lot of brute force, uh, brute uh, communication here. We got the Queen of Wands reversed. We get the Devil reversed. And so use this catalytic energy to break you free from the toxic cycle because I think we got two people here we got somebody here jealous, possessive, controlling, demanding, and we got somebody here very much emotionally withdrawn. And I do feel somebody here is needing to face a past heartbreak. And it's about getting real. It's about getting honest. There's that Uranus energy, I feel. And so somebody here is getting a major wake-up call. And this wake-up call is coming from above. And this is shocking. This is shocking, and so there's going to be a shakeup. There's going to be a very shocking shift this weekend when you're in a station's retrograde, and you're going to have to find your faith to keep moving forward. And so this is divinely directed. This is divinely ordained at this point in time, and something is about to come full circle, maybe with a Taurus. It doesn't have to be, but we do have Uranus and Taurus, and so what is the world and the justice? I do feel somebody's got to go back to something to heal a past heartbreak and they've carried a heavy load on their back for maybe the past three years we get the queen of coins reversed clarifying the world and the justice card we get that six of cups that came out on the cut and we get the hanged man and so we do have uh neptune retrograde in pisces and this is representative of pisces and so there's a wake-up call you got to walk away from not knowing your worth. I do feel you got to stop clinging to the past. I feel there's a need to really recognize your, your immense worth and value this lifetime. And so get ready to walk away from a situation. Get ready to walk away from third party. This might mean going your own way. But there's definitely a need to lay down a long-standing burden. And Saturn is saying, hey, you can't carry the load anymore. It's time to recognize that you're on a spiritual path. It's time to develop these gifts. It's time to walk the higher path. It's time to go towards wish fulfillment. And it's time to recognize that Spirit's been saying, hey, you got this. You can do this. It's time to speak directly from the heart. Use your voice to speak up for yourself. I do feel somebody here is being led and guided by spirit to speak up, to stand up for themselves. And I do think things are going to be accelerating very quickly. You got to know your worth. You got to know your value here. And so there's some type of ending here and it's painful and it hurts. And it's going to feel like somebody is stabbing you in the back. But what is going, what it's going to do is it's going to break you wide open. And so you got to look back at the past betrayals. There's a healer here. There's a healer here that I feel maybe has been betrayed time and time again. Maybe you're closing out a 10-year cycle of really stepping into your worth and, and your value because the Empress reverse, the Queen of Coins reverse is saying there's a feminine here that doesn't know her worth. There's a need to overcome jealousy issues. There's a need to overcome possessiveness issues in order for that new, new beginning. And so use the hard-earned lessons as a catalyst for creating something new. Because the sky is the limit here, guys. The sky is the limit here. So what is the closing message? Let's get a past lives and lessons uh, message here. We got a gypsy here. So we've got a wanderer here. And so there is a sense of nervousness here. Maybe you feel like you don't belong anywhere, but you are here to be a leader. Maybe it's time to start writing. Maybe it's time to recognize that you have something to contribute to society. But you're here to learn to not, not to cling to material things. 
So what is the closing message? There we got, there we got it. We got different genders and outcasts. And so this might be a lesson in reverse gender roles. So reverse the genders if you need to. But imagine what your life would look like if you were a man, say, and you're a woman or vice versa. So try to see uh, the perspective of the opposite sex. Maybe in a past life you were an opposite gender. But there's something here about understanding that you're just different. You're different from anybody else that you've probably ever met. And maybe people just can't understand you. And so those aren't your people. I feel somebody here is feeling outcast, ostracized. And this is where you're going to have to put in the hard work. You're going to have to put in the hard work, one foot in front of the other. And this is about laying down a burden of karma that maybe you have carried for many, many lifetimes. And so this burden needs to be acknowledged it does need to be healed this lifetime. And so these secrets that were kept deep inside of you are coming to light. So stop protecting your heart. Open up your heart and face the challenge of this abandonment wound. Because I do feel when you overcome feelings of aloneness and unwantedness, then you are basically on the path and you're grounded in a state of wholeness. And so recognize the limiting conditions around you and recognize what it is that you need to do to overcome them. So spend some time alone and develop those intuitive gifts because these energies are asking you to acknowledge what needs to be healed so you can move on. And so somebody here, I think, really needs to look back at a huge missed opportunity. Doesn't mean you have to go back to that person, but you do have to release the energy attached to a past ending that probably wasn't processed. And that's what I've got for a message today. If you would like to book a more personalized reading, please feel free to check out the description box below and I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.